first thing I always do, before I start cooking, I always go to roast sunflower seeds. I've got the fish on already. And now I'm going to put olive oil in here. So about um, three, four tablespoons. And um, you're going to start putting those beautiful organic broccoli in first. Broccoli is a superfood. Then put it on. So there's a system to cutting beans. This got some. And then this, get the egg corner there, and then nice big chunk of pieces. So therefore with your hand, otherwise it's not a good idea, it rolls. And then turn it off for a moment, and the cauliflower is the key that you want to get the starch in here without using extra carbs. So the beauty of cauliflower is, it gives you a feeling of carbs, it gives you the taste of carbs, but you're actually not using carbs. Which is why people do cauliflower rice. So once again, you want to get, you want to get the pieces nice and chunky. The distribution of cauliflower to the other greens is usually more cauliflower than other stuff. The reason why that is, because cauliflower is a binder and it produces and now you turn it back on again. Another good way of cutting the line is with a scissor. And then, once again, you always cut it along the groove. That's the key. So you don't harm the nature that intended the broccoli to distribute its seed in all directions. So in this way, when you cut it that way, you allow the towel to be part of your cooking because the tower has got a very specific reason why it's spreading itself in all different directions. Yeah, my favorite mustard seeds. Yeah, put it in there. Human seeds. This is good stuff. Carrot. Just a little bit. And then pepper. Make sure the salmon is going even. So the reason why I do them in three different serves of the beans is that you get a really softer part of the bean when you eat and you get a more crispy part of the beans when you eat. So it's more diversity and distributes the chi more evenly. Both got the purpose, obviously the softer bean as opposed to the um, harder bean. But the harder bean is crunchier in the taste and therefore engages different taste parts. And put it back in again. And once again, boom. So then, as you can see, I lock different layering. Because if you lay it in different parts, you get different experiences. And you'll find that oh, just about spot on. That's like exactly how you want it. So the oils that are coming out here are crucially important. So you want to distribute the oils a little bit and then have it plant aside so you don't cause mess. German efficiency. And make sure we drink a lot of coffee. Mm. Because then you're in the mood of the tea. And the line salt, just put it on there. Soy sauce on it. Apple cider vinegar. Put the lid on. Now you turn it off again, so it can, the heat in itself can do the work. Those sunflower seeds go on later. So these are wild avocados. 
It's a different world, those avocados. Wild avocados, they're the ones who don't grow commercially. Obviously, avocados, you want as many as possible. So, there are so many incredible benefits. You want to really bring it through. Because it, um, it will actually blend together with the cauliflower really, really well. Now it's actually the first stir. I haven't stirred it for a while because the aim is to let it all work with itself, by itself, with each other, unharmed, untouched. Okay. Because there's enough oil in there, it will actually don't get stuck. And because there's also the vinegar and the soy sauce, we will actually start now also adding steaming to it. When you're ready, put the um, sunflower seeds in Boom. and let it sit just for a few minutes. Let it sit it really comes together so it becomes like one form. And that's it. That's cheek cooking with yoghurt. Oh, 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 oh,